Hi everyone, welcome back. It's nice to have you here. Thanks for clicking on this video. So as you can tell from the title, this is going to be a Whitney Simmons Times Gymshark review. I'm so excited because this collection is just absolutely stunning. It's gorgeous. I just love it so much. <laughs> Honestly, thinking about it, it just brings a tear to my eye. And when I first unboxed it, I literally could have cried. It's so beautiful. I've been really emotional lately though, so that could be why too. Um, there's just been a lot going on in my life, a lot of really positive things. Ben and I filmed our special announcement just a few days ago. I still haven't edited it and we are just waiting on a few things before I can actually post it. I was really hoping to get to post the announcement video this month because it's holding back a lot of my content as you guys soon as shall see. It's just a very big deal. It's the rest of our lives and we just have to make sure that everything's perfect before we kind of share this information with you. So all exciting stuff. However, I will warn you that today I might seem a little bit off or really tired in this video. And that's because I actually woke up at 4 a.m. this morning to drive my brother to the airport. So he has left now to go get his visa, which is also exciting, but it's sad because he's been here for five months and it was so great having him here. He did help me out a lot with my business and the behind the scenes of running a business. There's a lot and there's a lot of stuff that I was not so great at. So it was really good to have him here helping me with that and to also help me take pictures and film. But sadly, he's gone for... We're not really sure how long, but hopefully the visa process doesn't take too long. Fingers crossed, and if you've ever moved to a different country, then you'll know how stressful applying for and hoping and hoping that you get granted a visa is. <laughs> so yes, I would appreciate any sort of well wishes. Okay, all of that aside, let's actually focus on the purpose of this video, which is the Whitney Simmons Times Gymshark collection. So if you are familiar with this collection at all, and if you're familiar with Whitney's previous collection with Gymshark that happened last year, then you'll know that this new version, V2, is extremely similar to the previous one. So I've heard some people ask why would she redo her collection and why would she not release a whole new collection? And I think the answer to that question is that Whitney is a perfectionist and she really wanted to get another chance to make her collection perfect, to iron out all of the kinks and to make it even better for us as the wearers. And I totally don't blame her. I think with the current situation of how everything's just new, 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 once you buy something then a season later it's not in style anymore and it can often feel really difficult to keep up with everything. So I actually really, really appreciate that she chose to redo everything but make it even better and to just release it in updated colors. So that's what she's done. Got a lot of respect for that. So congratulations Whitney, you've absolutely killed it and I cannot wait to give my take on everything. This collection is extremely classy for activewear. It's probably the most elegant and beautiful activewear that I've ever seen and I've seen a lot of activewear in my day. It works just as well in the gym as it does for athleisure wear. I feel like she's covered all the bases. With that in mind, for activewear that doubles as functional gym wear, but then also as beautiful athleisure, it has its limits and it's not going to be like the most insanely kind of functional, if you know what I mean. It's not vital seamless. And the final thing to highlight is that the leggings and the shorts are 110% squat proof. I did not see one athlete mention about them being sheer on them whatsoever and I always need to size down in mine because I have such a small waist compared to my hips. My hips would usually suit a size small in leggings but I wear an extra small and even though I did kind of choose my smaller size they are still 100% squat proof on me so I applaud Whitney and Gymshark for being able to achieve that even in the lighter colors. Just so that you're prepared everything does go live Thursday the 29th of October at 7 p.m. GMT which is UK time so just type in 7 p.m. GMT to your city in Google to get the exact time for your time zone. Please set an alarm 15 minutes before everything goes live so that you can be on the website ready to refresh the page. That's going to be your best bet to ensure that you're going to be able to get what you want because this stuff is going to sell out 
very quickly. This is Whitney's range, anything can happen, so it's just better to be prepared so that you don't get disappointed. I've left my link down below. If you do choose to shop through my link, thank you so, so much in advance. It directly supports me and it also supports my relationship with Gymshark so I can keep doing reviews like this one. So yeah, there are 10 different styles, so this is not including the accessories. This is just in the clothing, that's what I'm focusing on. I know that there's a gym bag and there is something else, but I can't remember what it is. But in terms of the actual clothing pieces, we have 10 things. There's shorts, there's high rise leggings, which are my favorite and I have most of my colors in those. There's also a rib waist legging, which is a more compressed legging around the tummy area. There's joggers, there's the sports bra, which I am wearing right now. So flattering. We have a tank top which is it hits at the waist and, it, and it's not like overly cropped and there's a loose tee which is kind of a drapey t-shirt that is that goes down to the hips and there is a cropped hoodie. Okay so there's 10 different clothing pieces and eight different colorways. So we have pale green and the official color name for this is moss green. We have a deep green and the official color name for this is Amazon. We have an off-white cream color and the color name for this is unbleached. We have a dusty pink color. The color name for this is, I feel like it's just pink, let me check. It's pink haze. <laughs> a deep rich purple, which is the color of the sports bra I'm wearing and this one is called chocolate. We have a neon red, and this one is called cyber red, I believe. We also have a bright blue, and finally black. If you're interested to know which styles come in which colors, then just check my description box. Whitney included that in her video, and I found that the easiest way for me to keep track of the colors to just have it written down. I find it easier for planning, so check there if you'd like to know. Also, in the description, you will find my measurements and my sizing info. I'm not going to get into color comparisons right now. I'm going to save that for near the end of the video. Whitney did such a great job choosing this color palette. All of the colors complement each other so well. It's just so cohesive, and I'm usually not one to like to mix and match colors with my gym wear. For me personally, to achieve kind of a more put together look, I like to at least have kind of a matching set feel and I don't usually pair different colors, but because these colors complement each other, you can mix and match and it still looks so beautiful, so cohesive and really put together and classy. Everything in this collection is made to fit extremely true to size. I know that was really important to Whitney. She mentioned that she is a true size small and she wears a size small in everything. Obviously, I won't be able to comment on sizes that are not my own, but what I've heard from other athletes who are all different shapes and sizes, they are finding the collection very true to size and they're recommending that you pick your usual Gymshark size when going for these items. I will provide specific sizing advice as we go through each item. I will be able to give you advice on how to pick your size, like when to go for your hip measurement or your waist measurement or whatever. And of course, I'll share what size I chose to get in which item because I actually fall pretty evenly between an extra small and a small. In the new 2020 releases in Gymshark, I have been choosing more size extra small and I chose my sizes based on what I chose for the last Whitney collection. Ooh, I forgot to mention that on every single piece in this entire collection, there is an updated Whitney Simmons decal. So on the previous collection, you had this gold bar, which is tacked on on either side, so it's sewn on. Some people did have an issue with it staying on. So instead of that, this time it's a little cursive font Whitney Simmons in gold. It's so pretty. My leggings have not gone through the wash yet, so I don't know how well it's going to hold up, but I know Whitney did a million tests, so I would say that that is all safe there, and that logo feels extremely sturdy. I'm stretching it in all different directions, and yeah, it looks really good. Love that, it's so pretty. And I love that you can you can really see it from far away, just like a little gold cursive font. Oh, I think Nikki mentioned this, but it looks really good paired with gold jewelry if you did want to wear it as a leisure. And carried through from the previous range, there is a very subtle, it's a beautiful day to be alive quote in a tonal silicone 
applique. Very subtle, very cute, and you can find that on every single piece in the collection as well. I just love the gold accents of this collection. It just gives it that little extra touch and luxurious sort of look. All right, so let's go through each individual item, starting with the leggings, of course. Okay, so first off, I'm going to talk about the high-rise leggings, which are basically a remake of the leggings from Whitney's previous collection. So these are extremely similar, but the main difference is the flat lock seam. So this is really, really important. Um, I actually have a thing about flat lock seams. Like, I very much prefer them. So if we look at the previous Whitney leggings, you can see that there's just regular seams but the problem with regular seams on activewear and the reason why it's not my favorite is that it really does protrude out on the inside of the leggings and it does not always lay flat and it can tend to pucker up the fabric making it just not look as clean and as kind of luxurious in my opinion whereas the flat lock seams that are updated on these leggings they just lay super flat against your body. It's much more of a streamlined effect and it's much more flattering, especially if it's kind of around your waist and hip area. You don't really want there to be any bunching there. So I really appreciated that new feature of these leggings. Also, the laser cut detail in the back has been updated. To me, it sort of looks kind of like a W for Whitney, but I don't know if that was intentional. And then also, I love this detail. So we have an elastic scrunch on the bum but this is no ordinary bum scrunch because you cannot actually tell that it's a bum scrunch when they're on your body it just form fits the leggings to your butt crack <laughs> it basically allows the leggings to hug your bum cheeks without you having to yank your leggings up really high because i have really wide hips so when i have to hike the leggings up it creates a lot of bunching and like accentuates the front part of my leggings and it's just not a cute look so I really really appreciated that about these ones you just get the booty pop in effect without having to see like a big huge ruching detail or have to like pull them up and give yourself a wedgie so yeah really really like that detail it's genius honestly don't know how someone hasn't thought about it before Whitney has truly perfected this collection I also want to mention that I feel the fit is new and improved on these leggings so I'm noticing that the waist is a little bit more cinched in which is perfect for me because I found in the previous collection the waist was just a little bit loose on me even in the size extra small and the leggings slipped down really really easily and I found that they were really tight around the lower part of my quads which is not a good combination because the legging wants to pull itself down in that case so I on I actually couldn't even wear the leggings because they just would not stay up on me so I found that with the new leggings they fit so much better they hug up at my waist despite me having a very small waist my waist is 23 and a half inches just measured that the other day I finally got a little measuring tape so yeah I really appreciate that they're just a little bit tighter on the waist and there's a little bit more room through the quad so I found that to be perfect and also it's good to note that the waistband is just rolled over but there is a seam to tack it down I think to the lining so it, I think it's three layers on the waist seam there so you are getting kind of a cinched in effect at the very top however there just isn't any tummy control with these ones these leggings hit at a 7 8 length so on me they kind of go I'm showing like the bottom quarter of my calf I have really really long legs for my height so I would say I'm kind of like a regular leg length um, and I really like where they hit on me but also with the 7 8 length you get a really flattering effect for taller girls because it just hits kind of like at the 5 8 point and it looks really nice um, and shorter girls will not have to worry about having to roll up their leggings because they'll hit at the perfect length on your ankle so next up we have the ribbed waist leggings here I have them in this cyber red color with a cat hair on it just stunning color so these leggings have much more of a compressive waistband again you do have the waistband that folds over it feels to be three layers with the internal layer being mesh just like in 
the high-rise leggings. The waistband seam, which is also flat lock, hits quite a bit lower. So if we compare the seam, it hits lower than the bottom seam there on the high-rise leggings. And the double ribbed layer provides a decent amount more of compression so that you can get that sucked in effect if you are looking for more of a tummy control legging because I know with Whitney's previous collection there was some concern about the legging being too second skin feel and not having any compression whatsoever especially in the tummy areas so if you do need that sort of compression in your life definitely go for these ones I forgot to mention this with the high-rise lighting that I just showed you but the material is a little bit more compressive than Whitney's previous collection so I find that I'm not getting for example for me my issue if you want to call it that is I have more visible cellulite even when I'm lean I found with the previous collection it showed my cellulite a lot more whereas with this one I actually haven't really noticed my cellulite at all so that's a really big bonus so it, you do get that little bit more of a compression the leggings overall feel kind of like a hugged effect I wouldn't call them compression leggings I mean through the hips and the legs I also wouldn't call them second skin it's a really good middle ground and you get that mild compression for both the high-rise leggings and for the ribbed waist leggings on the ribbed waist leggings there's a much more subtle almost non-existent V in the back but it's just enough to give a flattering effect and they do also have the exact same elastic scrunch detail on the back so that you do get the definition. A detail that I love on the ribbed waist leggings is the a little ruching on the ankle. This looks so cute on. I just feel like it's such a pretty added detail. I just think it goes really well with this style of the legging. I like that there's kind of a slight difference there. Okay, so next up we have the high-rise shorts. So these are exactly the same as the high-rise leggings, except they are just shorts. <laughs> Everything that is great about the leggings, you get it in these as well. One thing that I was so pleasantly shocked and surprised about was the fact that the shorts did not dig into my thigh whatsoever. I literally saw the shorts when I unboxed them and I was like, oh, they're so cute. Oh, but they're definitely gonna dig in and I'm not gonna wanna wear them. But I was so happy to find that they do not dig in one bit. Honestly, I just wanna hug Whitney to thank her. Again, I don't know how someone hasn't done this before, but it is so nice to not have them feel like they are cinching your thigh in and giving that really unflattering line and also when they're too tight they tend to ride up but I haven't felt that with these shorts at all so so happy about that so as I described the shorts are exactly like the leggings you get the same double flat lock seam you get the v taper in the back as well as the scrunch effect in the bum which just gives definition but you can't see the scrunch whatsoever when you have them on. Honestly, perfection in a pair of shorts. Okay, so as for sizing for the high-rise leggings, the high-rise shorts, and the ribbed waist leggings, I would go with your waist measurement for these because the waist is the tightest part on all three of these pieces. And I feel like I can confidently say that because I have such a big discrepancy between my waist and my hips. So if I was to buy for my waist, I'd honestly be an extra, extra small. But if I was to buy for my hips, I would definitely be a size small. So the extra small is really, really good for me. It is the correct size around my waist, but it still does have enough room through the hips to allow the leggings to be 110% squat proof on me in all of the colors. Again, these leggings fit very true to size. So if you're familiar with Gymshark, if you bought Gymshark before, then go with your usual size. If you have five pairs of Gymshark leggings and four of them are size small and one of them size medium, then go with the size small. Generally, I would not recommend to, to either size down or size up, but if you are very much in between sizes, go with your proportions. If your waist is really tiny, then maybe size down. If your waist and your hips are more evenly sized, then you might want to size up if you don't want to feel so compressed in the waist. And one thing to mention is that although I saw a huge improvement on these leggings versus the V1 leggings, I do definitely still experience some slipping down of the leggings, especially in the lighter colors. 
I'm not sure if you guys are aware, but when you dye materials in darker colors, they tend to take away the stretch a little bit. So darker colors tend to be a little bit tighter than the lighter colors. In the lighter green color and the pink in particular, I did find they slipped down a little bit, but nothing compared to what they did in the previous collection. If you are worried about that and you are in between sizes, only if you're in between sizes, then you might want to size down. Someone asked if the waistbands stay in place when you're working out, and I found that they stay in place really, really well. They don't roll down at all. Really nice waistband design. As I said before, Okay hey guys, I'm really sorry the neighbor's house alarm is going off. They were having window cleaners come over and they must have set off the alarm. But I just don't have time to stop recording this video and it's been going on for a while now so it doesn't seem like it's going to stop anytime soon. So apologies for that. I feel really bad. I hope it's not too loud in the camera. Moving on to the sports bra and I think the sports bra is a star in this collection. It's elegant, it's perfect, I love it so much. So this bra is very similar to Whitney's bra from her previous collection. So you have the seam down the front but you're missing the keyhole at the bottom which was a really pretty design detail but I don't think it was the most functional especially for girls who have bigger chests. So I think it's really nice that it's been removed for this collection. You do still have the beautiful ring detail in the back and it's ruched along the ring. It's just so pretty. And you see the little bit of the gold ring peeking through. Whitney wash tested these so the ring should not tarnish and it should hold up really, really well in the wash. Oh, it's just so pretty. This is the prettiest sports bra I've ever seen. <laughs> Another thing that Whitney did, which I've never seen on a sports bra, I think I'm sweating a little bit, so apologies for that. The sports bra comes up really high on the underarms, which means that it very much covers um, any sort of excess boob that you would have up there, which can, like if sports bras go down too low or are too tight in the underarms, then it can kind of dig in and cause a little bit of a fold in that area, which is not always the most flattering. So I thought that was a really nice touch, but also what I very much appreciate is the deep scoop in the front. I find that there's a perfect amount of coverage, especially as I've seen on girls with bigger chest on other athletes, but you do get a low enough cut where for girls like me with smaller boobs, I still get a really nice sort of um, push-up effect and, and a little bit of cleavage. It's sort of sexy and feminine. And the seams around the sports bra are really flat, so you don't get any digging in on any area. You have the little gold logo detail along the side. You do have an elastic band at the bottom of the bra. I definitely needed a size small in these bras. I did try the size extra small, and it was coming up quite tight around the rib cage for me, but I am very much exactly between a size extra small and a small in bras. And in 2019, the entire year, I always got a size small, and they were just so much more comfortable on me and I wasn't feeling like my rib cage was being compressed. With these bras, I can definitely get away with a size extra small, especially if I kind of pull on the band and stretch it out a little bit, but I feel so much more comfortable in the size small. So my advice with sizing with the bras would be to go for your under bust measurement. So what you would usually be in a bra, say for example, 30, for D, the 34 is what you'd want to go for when choosing the bra. And with the size extra small, I probably wouldn't go for that at all unless you have a sub 32 under bust measurements. And I do find that the bust area of the bra, so the cups, which by the way are removable, are a lot more stretchy and can easily work on a range of cup sizes. So I know Libby wears a size small as well, but she has much bigger boobs than me. And she has said that the bra fits amazing on her. I would only size up from your under bust measurement if you have a really, really big cup size. Oh my God, it's gone off. Oh, silence. Okay, moving straight along to the long sleeve crop top. 
which I believe is my favorite piece in this entire collection. So this top is absolute perfection. It is so pretty. I love the crossover detail in the back and the ruching on the sides and the ruching on the sleeves. It is just beautiful. The little gold applique logo looks so nice on the back as well. Perfect placement in my opinion. You have the perfect scoop neckline and the sleeves are the perfect length. It's just overall so flattering. It's not so cropped that you feel it riding up but it's also not too long where it hits your leggings. Like there's a really nice amount of skin that is showing if you're wearing the high-rise leggings or the joggers with the crop top. I found that it fit really really true to size. I wear an extra small in it and it fits a dream. No complaints whatsoever. There is no compression to this crop top so I would definitely recommend wearing a bra with it but the best thing about the long sleeve crop top is that it looks absolutely stunning over the sports bras. You just see the little ring of the sports bra peeking out over the top. Just gorgeous. It is a perfect gym layering piece. I wore this through entire workouts and squatting, putting the bar on my back and moving my arms around a lot. I think it's just as functional as it is beautiful. So since the crop top was my favorite piece, I'm really happy that I got it in multiple colors. I didn't get it in all colors though, so I might go back and snag a few more. More. So I'll be competing with all of you. I also really want the moss green sports bra because I don't have that and I might just pick myself up some chocolate joggers while I'm there. So if you are not a big fan of crop tops, there are two non crop top options for you in this collection. A tank top which hits just at the waist. This tank top is so pretty. If I wore tank tops more often then this would definitely be my favorite one but I couldn't justify choosing it over any of the other pieces that I chose, I love the little drapey detail at the back, again, that shows off the sports bra, and it is the perfect loose fit that sort of hangs off the shoulders, but it also gives you the option to tie it up in the front if you do want to cinch it in and make it cropped on some days. So such a pretty piece. The other longer top option is the loose fit t-shirt, which I also didn't get. This has a wide neck to it so you can wear it hanging off one shoulder and it hits more at the hip level so you are getting a full coverage t-shirt. I think it's made out of a very lightweight fabric as well so that's another really nice option. Again if you do want to know what colors any of the items come in then just check the description box below. I found that that was the easiest way to keep track of everything. Okay so next up we have the joggers and I'm so happy that I got these in the unbleached color which is a beautiful cream. These joggers are so nice you guys. These are a paper bag waist jogger that have a loose fit through the front so they're meant to be quite baggy on the front but they start to hug your body at the hips on the bum and down the leg they become more of a legging. So they are a sort of jogger legging hybrid. Very comfy, very flattering, much improved I think from Whitney's previous jogger variation which I couldn't wear at all because they came up way too high on me and I usually find that paper bag waists are really unflattering for me personally because I've got a really short torso and it kind of just adds bulk at the smallest part of my waist rather than cinching it in. I do find that paper bag waists look so good on girls that are a little bit more straight up and down because it does create that really cinched in effect. So it just depends on what body type you are. With these ones, they did come up a little bit loose on my waist in a size extra small, but they have the drawstrings. So these are flattering on me when I do cinch them in quite a bit. But overall, I just find that they're such a beautiful design. They're so classy looking for joggers and they're just the perfect athleisure slash loungewear piece. They've got the little gold logo just under the waistband. They've also got the little gold toggles and they've got the ruching detail on the ankle which adds a very pretty detail and the material is kind of a thicker stretchy cotton material so definitely thicker than a pair of leggings but more of like a medium weight for joggers. They're not as stretchy and lightweight as the hoodie or the Gymshark Pippa training joggers if you've ever tried those. I'm wearing them right now and they're really, really stretchy and really thin. So these are somewhat more in the middle when it comes to joggers. Someone asked if they, they should size up for the joggers. They have a small waist, but their hips are more of a size medium. If you want the joggers to fit more baggy, then go with the size medium in this case or your bigger size. 
if you're worried about them not cinching in and fitting snugly at the waist then go with the smaller size that's what i did and i got an extra small someone asked of the sizing of the joggers versus the pippa joggers if they can size down because they size down in the pippa i would not recommend to size down in these joggers for a tighter fit because the material is a lot more compressive and it's a lot thicker whereas the pippa is super super stretchy if you did size down in the pippa then i probably wouldn't size down in these joggers unless you want them to be very very tight fitting or you have a really tiny waist i did get a lot of questions on the unbleached because i showed them on my stories when i was using a ring light i find artificial light is really harsh and it made the joggers look a little bit see-through i would say that in regular lighting they're not see-through i wouldn't wear these to the gym to squat in because like i don't really train in joggers i would find that kind of uncomfortable there is a possibility that you'll see kind of like you know if you have white trousers and they've got pockets in them you can kind of see the outline of the pockets that might happen more so on ladies with deeper complexions just because there's a bigger contrast between the color of the leggings and your skin tone so you might see like um, the seams and the pockets but again I've got no problem with them in daylight or just regular lighting it was just when i put on the ring light that you could definitely see the pockets and that sort of thing so i only got the joggers in the unbleached and i'm very much considering getting them in the chocolate color i love that color and i feel like it's such a nice color to have a full set in the final item that i wanted to show you is the cropped hoodie i just love this so much so this material is much closer to the gymshark Pippa training joggers and pullovers if you've ever had those it is incredibly soft it's incredibly stretchy and it's quite a thin lightweight material when it comes to a sweat material it doesn't have any texture on the inside it's very much just a thin sort of single layer sweat material the hood is fully lined which is really nice again you have the gold toggle detail on the drawstrings you have it's a beautiful day to be alive cursive silicone applique you also have that on the drawstrings of the joggers which I think I forgot to mention. You've got the gold Whitney Simmons on the sleeve. Overall, it's a beautiful cropped hoodie design. One thing that I would mention is it is very, very cropped. I think it's the most cropped hoodie I've ever personally put on. So if you were going to size up for anything, then I would potentially size up for the hoodie. I got an extra small, but I would have considered purchasing a small had I have known how cropped it is. Lately, I've been tending towards preferring longer crops. If you prefer the shorter crop, then go with your usual size. But if you want to have one that it fits a little bit more oversized and a little bit longer than potentially size up. So someone asked if it's suitable for training. It's definitely more aimed to be an athleisure style. I personally would wear it as like a warm up piece, but you could wear it for your whole workout. Okay, so that's everything in the Whitney collection and everything that I wanted to talk you through. A few more things to note. So a common question is, is everything sweat proof? I'll answer that one very concisely. No, nothing is sweat proof. Sweat proofness is innate in the material, in my opinion, and some materials just will never be sweat proof. You can have it all, unfortunately. These materials are really super soft. They're brushed, sort of nylon-y material. They're not a seamless material and therefore sweat definitely shows in the lighter colors. So if that is a big concern to you, but you still love this collection, then I would recommend going with your darker colors. So you have the Amazon, the dark green, the chocolate and the black okay so next i'm going to go over the color comparisons just really briefly because i don't want to go on and on with that so starting with the color comparisons first up we will cover the pink versus whitney's moab mountain brick from her first collection there is quite a bit of a color difference the pink haze is a cooler tone it's a very true pink that's just a bit muted. It's a slightly more of a neutral true pink, whereas the Moa Mountain Brick is more of a salmony color, so it's quite a warm pink. Okay, so if we're comparing to previous Gymshark pinks, most recently Gymshark released the Studio Seamless. Here is the comparison. I would say the Studio Seamless is just a tad bit more muted, so it's coming up a little bit gray in comparison to the leggings, but very similar tones and would definitely pair very well together. Then we have the Pink Camo Seamless. This is 
very very close whitney's pink haze is just a tiny bit more muted but again would pair very nicely together if you've been around for a while then these are gymshark's dusty dusky pink energy seamless and these are coming up a little bit more cooler toned a bit more purple than whitney's pink haze but would still look really nice together <laughs> whitney's green we have gymshark's green camo seamless and i think this is an obsidian green so this is the deep green that gymshark has released recently and they do come in solid color sports bras from the training collection extremely similar I would just say that the Whitney bra is a little bit more cooler toned. It's more of a spruce, sort of forest green. The Gymshark Obsidian Green is more of a deep, true green, slightly more warmer toned, but again, too similar for anyone to notice. And then here is the comparison to the Vital Seamless. This is unreleased Vital Seamless, and this is more of a deep olive or a khaki mixed with black obviously a lot darker and more of a warmer toned green compared to whitney's which looks quite teal next to this okay so the chocolate so we've got whitney's chocolate here versus the vital seamless which released not too long ago these are really really close the vital seamless has black marl in it so it's coming up quite a bit darker and a little bit more warmer tone so it's more of a brick red mixed in with the black whereas whitney's chocolate is more of a really deep purple tones like an eggplant or an aubergine more of a cooler toned color as compared to the similar color from gymshark which is more of a deep red and you can see it a little bit more clearly here when i compare the pippa joggers that were released not too long ago the gymshark training joggers are quite a bit more of a brick red tone whereas Whitney's are very much purple in comparison. I would have no problem pairing these two together. I think that tonal outfits look just as good as monochromatic ones. So next we have the pale green colors. So Whitney's moss green compared to Gymshark's legacy fitness shorts and leggings. Whitney's moss green is a little bit paler and it's slightly more cooler toned meaning it's more of a bluish undertone whereas Gymshark's green it comes up a little bit more true green whitney's moss green in this lighting it's looking like a pretty much dead match for gymshark's original camo seamless green i mean if you squint then the camo seamless is ever so slightly more of a cooler tone to whitney's moss green now for the cyber red so whitney's cyber red versus this is the flex very very similar in color. I would say Whitney's is a little bit more neon and more of a pinkish undertone, so it's even more cool toned than Gymshark's. And I would say these are very, very similar to the Ultra Seamless, if you do remember that, the really, really bright neon Ultra Seamless red. I don't have that to compare, and I've heard from other athletes that Whitney's is still a little bit more of a pink undertone than the Ultra Seamless Cyber Red. So that is it for the color comparisons. So now I'm going to move into my recommendation for you when it comes to colors and color pairing. I'm personally more of a muted colors person, especially in the fall and the winter months. I am partial to the Amazon, the moss green, the unbleached, which is the off-white, and the chocolate. Those are my top favorite colors. After that, it would be the pink haze, and the cyber red is very pretty but for me that's more of a summer color and i didn't actually get any of the beautiful blue at all if you do like the bright colors then i find that the unbleached tops with the sports bra pair so nicely with any of the colors but it does look really nice with the bright colors as well so that's why i would give the advice to definitely pick up some pieces in the unbleached the sports bra and the unbleached is just and any of the tops in the unbleached would just pair well with all of the other colors so in my personal opinion, either a bra or a top in, in unbleached is a must. You can mix and match anything and it looks so good. I've, I've seen every combination under the sun on all the athletes and I've not seen one combination which didn't look spectacular. Again, I'm just more partial to the neutral colors and the neutral colorways. So I think an absolutely stunning color combination is the moss green, the Amazon, and the unbleached. That color combo though. And the pink haze 
and the chocolate again just such a beautiful combination with the unbleached a match made in heaven if you don't want to go for tonal colors then the pink and the moss green go together really really nicely i didn't get the sports bra in the pink or the moss green so i'm really really considering getting those but i did cover my bases because i got it in the unbleached and it looks so good with all of these colors even the cyber red and the unbleached just so pretty together i think they'd even go nicely with the pink haze if you wanted to do a pink tonal outfit definitely more of a brighter color so probably better for hot weather climates in my opinion but to each their own some girls look absolutely stunning year round in really really bright colors and i wish i had the blue to show you Ooh, I'm actually gonna grab the blue from Whitney's previous range because it's super similar It's just a little bit more muted than the new blue, which is a really intense blue one sec So this is beautiful blue from Whitney's first collection paired with unbleached incredible and Also, I think it goes really nicely with the pink haze So if you do like more of a brighter color combination, this would look really nice My personal favorites as of right now for the autumn winter season is it's definitely the high-rise leggings the sports bra I feel like the sports bra is a must in whatever color you choose and I love the long sleeve crop top I think it's so elegant and so pretty for active wear and it's such a great layering piece for this time of year I'm happy I got it in a few different colors the hoodie is really nice as well for layering for the gym it just depends what you see yourself doing the most if you see yourself wearing this more as loungewear then you might want to get the joggers okay so that's pretty much everything that i wanted to say in this video we've been here for a while now hopefully you have all of the information that you need for the launch which again is at 7 p.m gmt the 29th of october best to be prepared that's my advice if you did find this video helpful in some way then i would love it so much if you could shop through my links when you click through my link it doesn't cost you anything but it does directly supports me and it also supports my relationship with gymshark so if you do choose to do that thank you so so much in advance okay that is all from me thank you so so much for watching i wish you the best of luck i hope you get everything that your heart desires and if all goes well we should be rocking gymshark times whitney simmons v2 collection in a week's time good luck see you in my next video bye